In this example, we calculate the mass of an isotope in a sample of chlorine based on the mass of the sample and the masses of all naturally occurring isotopes of chlorine. Our problem reads, chlorine contains two naturally occurring isotopes. Chlorine-35 with a mass of 34.969 atomic mass units, and Chlorine-37 with a mass of 36.966 atomic mass units. What mass of Chlorine-37 is contained in a 2.79 gram sample of chlorine? To solve this problem, we'll need to calculate the abundance of Chlorine-37, because this will tell us what percent by mass of the chlorine sample is Chlorine-37. To do this, we'll use the equation for atomic mass. The atomic mass of chlorine is the sum of each naturally occurring isotope of chlorine times the mass of that isotope. Since there are two naturally occurring isotopes of chlorine, the equation is atomic mass equals the abundance of chlorine-35 times the mass of chlorine-35 plus the abundance of chlorine-37 times the mass of chlorine-37. We know the atomic mass of chlorine from the periodic table. The masses of both isotopes are given in the problem. We don't know the abundance of either isotope yet based on the information given. Right now we have one equation and two unknowns, so there must be one more equation that relates the abundances of the two isotopes. If we add up the fractional abundances of all the naturally occurring isotopes of chlorine, we get 1, which is the fraction for 100%. Since we want to know the abundance of chlorine-37, we should solve this equation for the abundance of chlorine-35. The abundance of chlorine-35 equals 1 minus the abundance of chlorine-37. We can now substitute all of our values into the atomic mass equation. Notice that the abundance of chlorine-35 has been replaced by 1 minus the abundance of chlorine-37, so we now have one equation with one unknown. Now we need to solve this equation for the abundance of chlorine-37. First, we distribute 1 minus the abundance of chlorine-37 times 34.969. Then we bring all of our numbers to one side of the equation by subtracting 34.969 from both sides. And we can combine the coefficients of the abundance of chlorine-37. Completing the subtraction on each side, we get 0 0.484 equals 1.997 times the abundance of chlorine-37. Dividing both sides by 1.997, we get the abundance of chlorine-37 is 0.242. This means any naturally occurring sample of chlorine will have 24.2% chlorine-37 by mass. To calculate the mass of chlorine-37 in our chlorine sample, we multiply the abundance of chlorine-37 times the mass of the sample. Plugging in our numbers and solving our equation, we get 0.676 grams of chlorine-37 in the 2.79 gram sample.